and lasses, welcome back to the workshop here at Outlaw Guitars with me, Rob, and welcome to the Great Guitar Build Off 2022. Right, that's where we are just now. So now I'll just go and smooth it all off, uh, finalise the shape and shit. That'll do. We'll see what the next one once it's in. See how it feels. That's sanded down on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to and this so it transitions more just sharp now so I'll sand back then I'll be back and we'll get bored about this bit because this is a tarp and this fits in fine I just want that to be a wee bit smoother so I'll get that sanded down I've got this curved at the back here for a wee bit extra but I know Jesus I can go into the I can go into the pack up and up. So there's plenty of access and everything. Shape's alright. Just this wee bit here. Take the corner off. Just make it a wee bit more comfortable to say. That's it. There we go, at 2.40 now, and I'm going to do this, I'm up at 2.40 just now, just here there, obviously. So, I'll go on, get that done at 2.40, and I'll see you in a bit. It's up at 2.40 just now. That's how it's looking just now, so, spoilers. Right, my storage is running out, so I'm going to leave it there, and I'll catch you later, guys. Okay? <coughs> like, share, subscribe, usual push. Catch you later. Okay, as you can see, I've been out doing loads of sanding. Getting the neck in, damping it down, sanding it back up, so it's fucking lovely. That's at 2.40 now. Before it all goes together, I'll dump it down again and then I'll take it up to 320. Same with the body. And then I'll probably take it up to 400. Uh, and then we'll start putting finish on it. Also, talking the finish, uh, I was thinking gloss, a gloss finish. But I've went off that idea. I'm going to do a semi gloss or a silk finish, whatever you want to call it. Because I think that'll be better. It'll have a sheen on it. It'll more be matte finish, but it'll more be like high gloss. So I'm going to do a silk or semi gloss one. That's the thinking just now. But that can change before I finish this one. But right now, semi gloss. So, what am I doing today? Well, I've got where the first humbucker is to get round to it. I'm going to make a template that will sit in there and it'll be thick enough. When the neck's in, I can sit this on and route out that part of the neck and the body at the same time. So I'm going to make a template today, probably not much more, 
because I want to get back to sanding. But I thought, make a template, I'll film that, might as well. Either that or I'll not film anything today, but that's all right here. Then we'll get the router out, we'll get it all taped in, get a bottom bit bearing and uh, route it out properly. That way it's just ready to go. On the body, I'll get the frost mud bit and I'll take most of that away, as per usual, and then route the rest of it and then we've got a clean, a clean surface. That's the plan. Right, there we go. I've cut it as close to the lines as I want it to go. Then, when we stick it down there, well obviously, I'll use the template, I'll route this bit out first. Because we don't need to route any of this, we just need to route that. But I need a bit for the router to sit. So now that I've got that made, I need to get the template on that. And route that so that's perfect for that, perfect ready to be used because it'll need to get sat on the body once an extra so that I can route it this bit here. But I can route it that and I can route it the other one because I know where my bridge position is so I can like, allow the space and I can route it these just now, drill my hole through so I don't forget. And then that way, everything's ready to go. Because I don't want to forget to drill that hole. Because then it's just got to be a fucking nightmare. If I did forget, fuck knows how I would get the hole down through. Any he's done it, how could you fix it? Not that I'm planning to, but I'm saying, it's bound to happen sometime. The Ben not date one of his balls. I forgot to do the hole. Ben might have done it. I don't want to do it, but Ben done. <laughs> well, by the way, the pocket, just in case any of you are wondering, is like about 80 mil, which is about three and a quarter inches for use on the army metric. So there's plenty of gluing surface there. We can get this cut out and ready for round. We can probably get that cut out and ready for round. Get our hole drilled through, unless I'm missing something. I don't think I am. So we're getting closer to getting the neck onto the body. Like I said, I'll wait till the neck's on the body, so I've got a solid surface. We'll put these other frets in, then we can start finishing up the neck. And have a back cavity cover template to make, because it's going to be a different shape than just like your usual ones. Because I want to keep it kind of in line with us, you know what I mean? Now, am I going to make some tartan for it or not? That's a different matter. I don't know. I probably have to, won't I? Just to keep it looking all the same. More tartan to make. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll go at five weeks before I've got to have my final edits in. Good fun, good fun. There's not really that much to do if you look at it like, you know, five weeks. Nice sweat. Anyway, let's get this done. Let's get the bridge placement humbucker put in two, drill true, and that might do it for a day. Apart from that will do it on camera, I'll just keep sanding again. So, without further ado, let's go.
the depth I could only get so far in the drum. But I'll I might chisel that out. But anyway, that's enough just now because when I put this bit in, as long as it's running on that, then I can clear the rest. But I'll take this bit out so it doesn't tax the bit as much. Just chisel it out. Just one point, one point three mil. Right, that's a bit to do. Just this one to go. Then that says we've got our two pickup holes done. Right, I should buzz down to depth then. Oh, spot on man. Any better than it wouldn't do. Lovely. Good job of muffing the sand and there's a bit of fucking how dumb man is that? Just went through the tape. Well, that's fucking clever, isn't it? We now have two pickup cavities. So before I do anything else, I'm going to drill one. And then that's that done. And can't forget. We are through. Lovely. Now I've got my hole on. The next ready to get put into the body. The next thing to do is to make a control cavity template. And that's what we're going to do next. So, I've got the shape. I'm just going to keep straight lines so that it goes with the body, you know. I need to make some tartan. Oh, that's got to be a bastard, I know. Because it's only got to be so thick. But this time, on the on the headstock, I never put the, the old veneer. But if I want it to look like the rest of it, then I suppose I'm going to have to put the old veneer in as well. Anyway, make a template for this first, and then we can worry about making tartan and shit like that after that. First things first, we've got our shape. Fill in these corners for the screws or magnets, and then we can get on with making the template. Get the template, get this drilled out, then we're ready to get that right out to the other day when I run out of space. I put the holes in for the straps, and I've also put the side hole in for the jack. I've done a wee bit off camera. You didn't need to see that, you're just drilling through the hole. I'm sure up will be earth shot and stuff to see somebody drilling holes. So that's what I've done when it was off camera. Okay, like I said, come with a template.